All right, guys, this is a uh, <clears throat> XB3 wireless gateway, and I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset this gateway back to factory settings where you have to redo your username and password and all that good stuff. So basically, if you flip this thing around the back, there's a little bitty hole right there. And as you can see, it says reset on it. You're going to take a pencil and you're going to stick it in there or a pen or anything else. But whenever you're going to stick it in there, you're going to not just put it in there and be done with it. You're going to hold it in, hold the button, stick that pencil inside that hole, hold the button in. And when you do that, if I'm doing it right, There it goes. All right, once those lights go out, keep holding it. Keep it held in. <clears throat> I usually count to about 20 or 30. If you just do it and let go of it, it's just like unplugging it. So you want to make sure you're actually doing the reset. So once you hold it in for about 30 seconds, you can let go of it. <clears throat> and then that top light, power light comes right back on. Okay, now all we do now is we play the waiting game. The next light that comes on should be the upstream downstream light. And then after that, your online light, the upstream and downstream light will start flashing first for a few minutes. Then after it gets done flashing, it should go solid. And then the online light should start flashing and it should go solid. <clears throat> Once that happens, that's called block sync. That means everything's synced up and ready to go. Your 2.4 and your 5 will always flash back and forth between each other. All right, now that you've got it factory reset, when all the lights go solid, you're going to take and use the password on the side of your modem. It's on the side. It will be on the side of your modem. It, it should be broadcasting. If it's not, you'll have to call, it, you'll have to call Comcast or Xfinity and have them to help walk you through it, or you can download the My Account app. You can go in there and set up your set up your Wi-Fi. You can re reboot your modem and do everything else. But this is back to the original settings like it came out of the pack. So if you download that app, it says set up my Wi-Fi on it. There's an option on there to do that. So, I mean, you have that option. You can go in there and reset, reset everything all the way back up. <clears throat> and then you should be able to create your username and password, and all should be good. I'm just waiting for this light to go solid so I can give you guys a, a little demo on what goes on. The, the <clears throat> online light should do the exact same thing this one's doing. It should flash for a few minutes and then it should go solid. So there we go, that one's on. Now next, uh, the online takes a few minutes sometimes. Sometimes it comes straight on and starts flashing. But anyway, everything should go solid. And that's about it. If you have any problems, download the My Account app and the uh, Xfinity XFi app onto your phone. You can get it out of the Google Play Store and <clears throat> create you an account. It will be different. Your login information there, your, your password and your username for that will be different than your Wi-Fi password, so don't get those confused. You log in with one that you make up yourself, go down where it says create account. You create you an account, you can log in there, and you can do anything to this modem from there. That is how to reset the XB3 wireless gateway. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Have a good day.